What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids, and today in this video we're going to check out 10 brand new jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Charge. This one's available for 99 cents, and it's a redesigned lock screen charging interface. So let me go ahead and plug my device into Charge, and I'll show you guys this beautiful brand new interface. So as you can see, it's a brand new refreshed look. So of course we have the normal time, we have the date right there, and we have these colored dots to indicate the charging progress. And as your device, you know, gains charge or loses charge, it'll actually change the colors, and you can you can actually configure that within the settings, which colors you want, etc. And you have the of course the percentage battery charging it tells us that it's 72 percent and we have this beautiful pulsating animation at the bottom of the screen to indicate the charging which is you know very nice and of course this whole view is a nice blurred view of the wallpaper you can also hide this view just by double tapping that's the default gesture and it'll show you your normal lock screen if you want to see that now if you guys jump into settings there's various different configuration options you could basically configure everything to your liking in here as you can see tons of options to configure and uh, I just want to show you guys one more thing with this tweak I just want to show you what it looks like when you get a notification on this view so as you can see right there you'll get this pop-up you have new notifications and of course you could just dismiss it and you could go ahead and do whatever you'd normally do with the notification uh, once again this tweak is called charge very nice refreshed interface to the charging view and one more thing about charge you can unlock your device straight from the charge view like that without you know dismissing the charge view first just to let you know Next up, we have Time Mover. This one's available for $1.99 that allows you to adjust the clock view on the lock screen and basically move it around. So basically, you could just do this freely right when you're on the lock screen. So you could drag it around like this, reposition it. You could also, you know, increase the size by pinching and you could, you know, basically rotate it like this. And it's actually very easy to interact with, very, uh, you know, useful and intuitive. And, uh, you know, you may ask, why would you want to do this? Well, if you have a nice wallpaper, you can make it look like the time is actually like sitting on something within the wallpaper. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. We're just going to jump into settings and we're going to go into the wallpaper settings and I'll go ahead and show you. We'll just assign a different wallpaper here. Let's just do a planet like this. And now when we go to the lock screen, we can make it look like the time is sitting on the side of the planet, for example. Something like that. You could just make it look like it's part of the wallpaper. Or maybe you just want to make a completely different look with the time. Maybe you could just make a smaller one in the corner or something like that. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. You get the idea. It's completely free-floating. It's all up to you. And this week also has a bunch of options in the settings panel for it. So if we just go into Time Mover, again, there's tons of options to configure. And I, But I do want to bring your attention to one option in particular, and that's the Reset Position option. So if you just want your position to go back to normal, you could just tap on this and then the position will just go back to the default like that so uh, once again this tweak is called time mover available for one dollar 99 cents next we have full safari this one's free and it brings the safari tab view from ipads to all iphones and basically it's where the tabs show up at the top and you can switch between them like this and it's actually very similar to a normal web browser and i do prefer this now there's also a plus button added to the bottom so you could add tabs like this just like on the iPad. Now, normally, again, this is available on iPads, and it's also available in landscape mode on plus-sized iPhones, but again, this tweak brings it to all iPhones, and it works in both portrait mode, as you can see right here, and of course, it also works in landscape mode. Now, you're probably going to want to use it in landscape just because it's easier, more space to operate and everything, but again, it works in both. And by the way, the normal window view is still available. If you just tap on the window button, this is just an additional feature. Next, we have Thumbtack. This tweak allows you to pin notes inside the notes application to the top of the list. Normally, it just sorts it by the most recent one you added or the most recent one you edited. But with this tweak, if you just go ahead and tap and hold on a note, as you can see right there, it'll go straight to the top and it'll have the little Thumbtack icon to indicate that it's pinned. A very, you know, useful functional tweak. You could also tap and hold to unpin like so once again this is called thumbtack available for free next we have time format and this tweak allows you to basically reconstruct the time that'll show up in the status bar as you can see right here i actually have it so it's telling me the date and the time and there's also various different other configurations and modes you could use with this so jump into settings head over to time format of course you can enable or disable the tweak and then we have format so if you click on this basically you're going to need to manually enter the format here now the formatting that this tweak uses is actually explained if you click on date formatting that it'll It'll take you to this page right here this web page and it'll basically show you the different options here and what you do is you slide over there and basically you just need to copy and paste whatever shows up there into the text box so uh, I have it currently set like this I'm just gonna change it to this uh, let's just say actually this one right here how about that so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy I'm just gonna highlight like this copy it now we go back and you just go ahead and paste it right in here like this paste then go back and restart springboard and then after that, as you see there, the change will take an effect. Very nice tweak for customizing the status bar time. And of course, adding the date. 
Next, we have last locked. This trick will actually display how long ago you locked your device on the lock screen. And it'll display right where the press home to unlock text appears, as you can see right there. So you see it says locked 9, 10 seconds ago, and it'll update live right there. So that's a very neat feature with this. And of course, you know, it's showing me seconds now, but it increases to minutes, you know, potentially hours, etc. as time progresses. And as you see here, we just reached a minute, and then it'll start counting like that. So uh, a potential use case for this is maybe you just want to see how long you go without using your device, you know, how long it is, you know, before you unlock it. Just kind of as maybe like a little experiment just to see, again, how often you unlock your phone and use your phone. So uh, once again, it's called Last Locked, available for free. Next, we have Vibrancy iOS 10. This is a very subtle tweak, but it basically makes the clock on the lock screen here basically more transparent and it takes in the color of the wallpaper on the lock screen. So you notice how the, you know, it's normally just white, but now it kind of has this green tint because again, it's taking in the wallpaper and kind of letting it through. So uh, it's subtle, but it's a very nice effect. And uh, once again, it's called Vibrancy iOS 10. And something to know, unfortunately, it's not compatible with Time Mover, the tweak I showed you earlier. If you install both of them at the same time, this effect will just not show up. Instant Assistant will make it so when you launch the Google Assistant app from the App Store, it'll automatically, you know, start listening to you and you could ask a question without having to press the microphone button at the bottom. So let me go ahead and show you here. I'm just going to launch the application. Hello. And just like that, as you saw there, it just, you know, automatically uh, started listening as soon as I launched the application. Or normally you have to click the button. So let me show you that one more time. Testing. So uh, again, that's pretty much the idea. And as the tweak's description mentions, you can actually kind of replace Siri with this. If you disable Siri and then go into Activator and go ahead and select under the user application. So when you short hold on the home button, that it will go ahead and launch up the Assistant app. So now you go ahead and short hold the home button like Siri. It'll go ahead and open this up and start listening just like that. So uh, that's something you could do as well. Once again, it's called Instant Assistant. Switch Tint allows you to change the color of the toggle switches. You know, you could actually change the border around just like that. When it's off, you could have a color. When you turn it on, it'll go ahead and have a different color like this. So uh, you could configure all this to your liking. If we head over to the Preferences panel for the tweak down here, Switch Tint. And if we open this up, of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. And you have Switch thumb and disabled outline. So thumb is when it's off, switch is when it's on. Again, the disabled outline is just the outline when something is disabled. So once you adjust the colors, just respring and you're good to go. View dock on today view does exactly what the name suggests. It allows you to see and access your dock right from the widgets view over here. I mean, it makes sense. You can access the dock on all the other home screen pages, but normally you can't access it here and now you can. So once again, it's a free tweak. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.